Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Iswat and today we're going to be doing everything shower routine. If your vibe is smelling good, feeling moisturized, healthy hair and oral hygiene, then this video is for you. Without much talking, let's get into it. First things first, we're going to hop into the shower and proceed to set our mood. Showering is an art and you are the artist. You need to be intentional about every step. I am going to light a candle to feel good and romanticize the moment. Next, we're going to jump into our oral care. I like to start my shower with a clean mouth and I am going to go in with my dental floss. If you do not floss, you might want to consider to start flossing as flossing has a lot of benefits on the teeth like helping to remove food particles between the teeth and along the gum line where your toothbrush cannot quite reach. It also helps with removal of bad breath causing bacteria compared to just brushing your teeth. Then we're going to rinse that all out and go in with our toothbrush. I'm using this electric toothbrush from Miniso. It's really small but super powerful. You want to make sure when you're brushing your teeth, you get into all the corners of your mouth. I start by brushing the outer surface of my teeth, then the inner surface and then the chewing surface. I do this going in an up and down direction. Once that is done, I go in with my tongue scraper. This is an absolute game changer in my oral care. It gets rid of any bacteria that can be resting on my tongue to give me mouth odor. This just cleans my mouth really nicely. First, I go in using the flat surface to scrub and prep my tongue for scraping. Then I go in with the scraping surface and give my tongue a good much needed scrub. When that is done, I go in with my mouthwash. I am using the Listerine in the Cool Mints flavor. This flavor is actually a bit strong, so if you have sensitive gum, you might want to mix it with water before you use it or you can just opt for a different flavor entirely. I am going to swish this around my mouth for a minute before I spit it out. And that's it guys, we are done with the oral hygiene for today. Before I hop into the shower, I'm going to remove all of my jewelries so I have a clean surface to work with. While still prepping for showering, we are going to dry exfoliate. This is something new that I am experimenting and so far I have been loving the experience. I will be going in with an exfoliation brush and scrub that intentionally on my skin, focusing on the area with lots more visible dead skin. Dry exfoliation unclogs pores in the exfoliation process. It also helps detoxify your skin by increasing the blood circulation. So I am going to do this thoroughly so I have a super clean canvas to work with. You can get the exfoliation brush at any store around you because they are easily accessible around the world. Next step in preparing to shower is to set the temperature. I like the room to be a bit warm so I'm going to turn on the heater and regulate that. Then I turn on the shower, let the hot water circulate before I get into the shower. When in the shower, the first thing I'm going to do is to wash my hair. There is no other way to go about this process. The first thing you have to do is to wash your hair before you wash your body. I am going to go in with hot water for the first rinse to get my hair wet and to open up my pores and prepare my hair for washing. Then I go in with my shampoo. I'm using the shampoo from Kono. Kono brand has a lot of variety of shampoo but for the sake of this video I'm going to be using the soft clean shampoo. What I do is to make sure the shampoo goes directly on my scalp and not my hair because shampoo is not meant for your hair. The sulfur in the shampoo can dry out the nutrients and leave your hair shineless. And to avoid this, you have to strategically put the shampoo only on your scalp. If you have lots of volume, you might want to section your hair at this point. But I personally do not have a lot of volume so I can do this at a go. You can give your scalp a good massage to awaken your pores. Next, I am going to wash out all of the shampoo juice and this time I am going to be using a slightly 
less hotter water because the hotter the water the lesser the nutrients then i will go in with my conditioner i'm using the corner conditioner the same brand as my shampoo the corner brand aims to revitalize dead and dry hair by reducing the frizz and just giving your hair a healthier and a much more lustrous look I like to get the conditioner into every strand as best as possible because this is what my hair eats. This is the hair food and you want to make sure your hair is well fed. I avoid my scalp area when I do this and I only focus on my hair. After the hair has been thoroughly conditioned, I rinse that all out with a lukewarm water. Emphasis on lukewarm so as to retain the conditioner nutrients in my hair. Then going forward, I do my protein treatment. If you do not use protein treatment for your hair, you might want to incorporate that as using protein treatment prevents excess freeze, increase moisture retention, provide elasticity and just add shine to your hair in general. After my protein treatment, I go in with my hair mask, but at this point, I also realized I was completely out, so I skipped that step. Now, I am ready to shower. The first thing I do is to wet my body with lukewarm water to raise my body temperature. Then, I go in with my exfoliating sponge. I will be using the body wash from Dove. Here, I have the original scent and the cucumber and green tea scent. The original scent smells divine and gives that clean finish out of the shower smell. And the cucumber on the other hand is my absolute favorite. It has this clean girl feminine after finish smell that I love and I just love the way it feels on my skin generally. So for my first wash, I will be using the cucumber and the green tea scent. While showering, you would want to start from up to down, I mean from your neck and shoulder downward and you make sure to really wash your body. Please do not be aggressive because you do not want to irritate your skin. Also, do not be too light and dead as you don't want to not be thoroughly washed. Please do not forget to get in between your toes while showering. And now for our second wash, I am going to be using a silicone sponge the silicone sponge is really soft and it just really helps to calm the skin after the first exfoliation also the silicone sponge does not harbor any bacteria and this is really good for the skin i'll be using this with the original dove scented soap and i'm just going to give my skin a good and thorough scrub To finish up with the body scrub, I am going to go in with my bath salt from Miniso called Cherry Blossom. This body scrub salt particles are really small so I can use this every day after my shower without worrying about over exfoliation. But if you're using a bath scrub with really large salt particles, you might want to not exfoliate every day so as to avoid over exfoliation. And when that is done, I'm going to rinse that all off and then go in with my feminine hygiene wash. This is from the brand ABC, the same brand I use for my sanitary pads. Please, when you're using the feminine wash, make sure to only focus on the outer area. Gently scrub the outer area going from front to back. Please, from front to back, never go down there from back to front. I like to wash my face in the shower because it just helps me to wash my face more thoroughly. I will be using my disposable face scrub. This sponge inflates once it comes in contact with water and it gives your face that gentle and clean scrub. I used to use the reusable ones, but once I realized that they have a bacteria, I switched to the disposable ones. I will be using the CeraVe Smoothing Cleanser for dry, rough and bumpy skin. I wash my face in a circular motion for full clean effect and I do this for 60 seconds. Anything less than that won't get rid of all of the residue on your face so you might want to count from 1 to 60 when you get to this point. Now out of the shower, I feel clean, I feel fresh and I'm just going to change into my robe for the sake of this video before I proceed. First thing I do is to put on an exfoliating foot mask. Exfoliating foot mask helps to get rid of dead skin cell which instantly reveals the softer, smoother skin underneath. Once the masks are on, I proceed to do my skincare. 
I like to start my skincare by wiping my face with a facial tissue. I do not use towels, wipes or any regular tissue on my face to avoid irritation. I wipe off the Essex water on my face and after wiping, I need to check the tissue to make sure they are white. Any residue on the tissue shows I did not wash my face properly and I might have to go back and rewash it. So I need to make sure the tissue is white. Once that is done, I go in with my AHA clarifying treatment toner from CosRx. I spray generously on my face and tap that all into my skin. Next, I go in with my sheet mask from Medihill in Vital Light Beam. I do not use sheet mask every day. I do this just once a week and these sheet masks are so moisturizing so it keeps my skin moisturized all through the week. And on the side, just in case if you care to know, this particular sheet mask are also used by the BTS, the famous K-pop group and they have really good skin. I saw them using it which was why I also tried it and it is really good. I leave the sheet mask on for about 20 minutes before I take it out and I think you can see how moisturized my skin is. Next I go in with my Dama Roller to rake all of the juice in. This particular Dama Roller has 540 pins and it gives this tingly slightly painful sensation when I use them. Next, I go in with my HH2O lip balm to keep my lips moisturized through the process. I then go in with my serum from the brand Glass Water. This has a milky consistency but it really gets the job done. I apply this and I gently dab that into my skin in a circular motion. The final step of my skincare is moisturizer. I will be using the moisturizer from Glass Water as well called Moisturize. I will put that on and massage that into my skin. I like to leave the excess on and wait for it to sink into my skin on its own for a more glowy and dewy skin. To round up, we're going to proceed to body care. I like to go in first with a body mist directly on my dry skin to build up the scent. I am using the body mist in the scent Lavender from Miniso. I took off the robe at this point to give a clearer demonstration of the body care. Next I moisturize my skin by using Johnson Baby Lotion and Johnson Baby Oil combined. I mix the mixture thoroughly and apply generously on my skin to give that glass like finish texture. Next, I go in with a deodorant. I then top that up again with a lavender body mist, you know, just to build up my scent. Then I finish that all off with a body spray. I'm using the body spray from Magic Moon in the pink scent. And there you have it, we're done with the body care. I put on my jewelry at this point because I am rounding up and I'm getting ready to leave the shower. The last thing I do is to take care of my hair. I will be using the hair oil from Arg Gold and just massage the oil into my scalp. And that's it guys, my everything shower routine. I feel alive, I feel clean and I feel super super moisturized after this routine. I really hope you guys were able to learn a thing or two from this video. If you did, please comment what your links below. And if there is something you do differently while you are in the shower, kindly comment it below as well as I will be reading and I'm eager to learn new things. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!